Too strange, too small, too fragile. It looks like an overfed frog. Yet a lot of people who have opinions about the Mini Cooper have actually never sat in one. This is the 2004 Mini Cooper, the first model I ever drove actually. It is owned and built by the BMW Group, so you get a lot of BMW style hints throughout the car. Now the Mini Cooper comes standard with 1.6 liter engine and 16 inch run flat tires. If you got the Mini Cooper S, you will be getting a 1.6 liter engine with a turbocharger that turns your car into a rocket. Now, the Mini Cooper S comes with a lot more aggressive styling, but I don't have one to show you today, so that's unfortunate. I have to rely on your imagination or Google. The first thing that might hit you the first time you sit in the Mini Cooper is how roomy it is. And they've been able to do this by pushing the four tires to the four extreme ends of the car. Couple that with a tightly packed engine and a very tiny boot space, you get a comfortable cabin and very good legroom. Another thing that might hit you is the design of the interior. You see, it's fun, it's light, it's one word, stylish. They've used a lot of big dials, retro type styling, curvy dashboard. This is a car that reminds you not to take life too seriously. Is that On the road, you realize a lot of all the gossip you've heard about this car are actually unfounded. You see, the Mini is known for one special thing, that go-kart handling. It's tight around the corners, you know, and you just love driving around Lagos roundabouts with this thing. It feels light, it accelerates very fast, yet it feels quite grounded. The first time I drove one of these, I was absolutely in love and that's why I always like to drive one of these with my windows run down. Despite all these amazing things, it had its issues. To start with, the 2001 to 2005 shock absorbers were short. Actually, like MI, they were brief, which meant you felt a lot of bumps in the road as you drove along. To make matters worse, they mushroomed. A situation where very serious potholes could bend the top of the shock absorbers. A nasty situation indeed. Other issues were the automatic gearbox, which was quite problematic, so you were better off with a manual gearbox in the 2001 to 2005 models. The boot latch was also prone to rattling like a tower cooking pot, and if you got the Hemme Kardon sound system, your amplifier could blow, meaning you would have to replace it with about $700. So I owned the 2004 Mini Cooper for about three years, driving it every day. My shocks were okay, but my boot latch definitely rattled and my stereo amplifier blew, which was a bummer. But I didn't care about any of those because it was fun to drive every day. And I thought it couldn't get better until I got this, the 2008 Mini Cooper. The 2008 Mini Cooper. With an improved 1.6 liter engine cranking out 118 brake horsepower compared to the 115 horsepower in the 2004 version. It was slightly bigger with updates to the exterior design and an absolutely gorgeous new interior. So the funny thing about this car is the first time I saw it online, I wasn't sure I liked it. There was something about the design. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure about it. Felt like it was a departure from my first love. And yeah, I'm not sure anybody likes that. But when I got a chance to sit in it and drive it, oh, wow, that, that's a different story. I had to ask for forgiveness. You see, all the problems I had mentioned in the previous 2001 to 2005 Mini were all gone in this edition. The gearboxes were a lot smoother. The shock absorber is a lot more reliable and it still had that go-kart handling for a bigger Mini, well slightly bigger Mini and it still came with the standard 1.6 litre engine 
It still had the tiny boot, very generous leg room, and then the comfortable cabin space. But the best part about it was it now comes with a spots button. The spots button turns your Mini from very fast to get out of my way. So let me show you. Here we go. Just listen to that. That's amazing. Like a rocket on Lagos roads. Can you imagine that? Oh, the fun in driving this thing is amazing. But alas, we don't have a road for it. Lagos State Government, build more roads for minis. Baby, no settle down, we ain't wasting no time, 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 time.